Chris is an inspirational person, and it is important that we honour a proud individual who offers such a wealth of experience and expertise and has achievements of notable distinction. Vice-Chancellor, in recognition of his lifelong and outstanding contribution to the charitable sector in support of the communities of Cumbria and North Lancashire, it is with great pleasure that on behalf of the University Board, I present Chris Batten as the most worthy of becoming an Honorary Fellow of the University of Cumbria. Well, Chris has been absolutely fantastic. He's been a huge advocate for our work and I think he's understood um, the role the Foundation plays alongside the Scott Trust and actually our broad range of grant makings enabled the Scott Trust to continue focusing on its, on its core work, but also um, he backed investment in our, in our early development. So we had a significant uh, grant to support our development cost about seven, eight years into the life of the organisation, which was fundamental in helping us become sustainable. Um, the support for our flood appeals and the trusts have been amazing and he sat on our 2005 uh, Flood Grants Appeal um, Committee in uh, 2005 in Carlisle. Um, but also we're very fortunate to have one of the ALP uh, first um, contingent in our very own Anna Lee Holiday, who, you know, was fantastic to start with but grown enormously. So, uh, and that's just, that's just a small amount. Just as, as a mentor and someone to, you know, sound off ideas with, he was absolutely great and I'm sure he'll continue absolutely great. Chris, from the moment we met I knew we were meeting someone very special. We so admired and admire your intellect, your sharp mind, your grasp of all things Cumbrian, not bad for an Australian, and your extensive knowledge of the charity world. Thank you Chris for your willingness to share this knowledge and for your belief in us. You, you've not just been a wonderful friend to Michael and I, but you've been a fantastic critical friend to Sunbeams, Sunbeams Music Trust, especially in the last 12 years when we've had to raise 2.5 million for the construction of our Sunbeams Music Centre. The donation from the Scott Trust really helped us on our way. Perhaps more importantly, and I think it's something I know you perceived, it acted as wonderful leverage to all the other funders. And, and here we are in our award-winning Sunbeams Music Centre. Hello Chris, it's David O'Keefe from the Destitution Project. As you are probably aware, I'm a trustee, secretary and proud volunteer. I first came across you uh, on a one-to-one -one basis about four or five years ago. Uh, by coincidence, we were struggling at the time because uh, we were left slightly in the lurch when another charity moved. You came and uh, saw us in situ and uh, I'm glad you realised that we were doing a good job for refugees and asylum seekers and you were very, very helpful for us and helping me with obtaining grants from the Scott Trust, especially the Bolton section. And uh, I thank you for that because without your uh, grants at the time, those life-saving grants, we wouldn't have progressed. And uh, luckily now we're three or four times larger than we were when you first helped us. And uh, therefore, uh, I probably won't be uh, asking for some grants for a few years yet and I hope I won't have to again and once again have a happy retirement. Many thanks. Bye-bye. So Chris, if I cast my mind back four years ago uh, when we met in my parents kitchen um, I'd just come back from India and you believed in me when a lot of other people didn't. I was not sure where I wanted to be, what I wanted to do and you reignited me to want to stay in Cumbria to make a difference to local communities and ever since then I've been doing that and really want to continue doing that. 
So Chris has played a huge part in giving us all the opportunity to be a part of the Aspiring Leaders program. He brought us all together. We were able to make connections amongst ourselves, bring our organizations closer together, and obviously meet other organizations that are out there as well by linking us up with our mentors and coaches. The way that I see it going forward is we're gonna have a more connected Cymru within the sector and hopefully more linkages between all the sectors together, more organizations, and really instilling that collaboration over competition. Oh, hi, Chris. I um, just wanted to congratulate you on your retirement, and I want to personally thank you for all the support that you've given me on a personal level over the last 15 years. You've been nothing but inspirational and transformational in my personal journey as a youth worker. So I'm really grateful for everything that you did for me. I also want to thank you for all the support that you and the Trust gave to all the children, young people and families over the last 15 years on the marsh. Uh, your support and your guidance definitely changed the lives of so many people. And um, I just wanted to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything that you did. I wish you all the best and I wish you all the best going forward in your retirement and I hope to see you soon. Take care, bye bye. I graduated about 400 years ago, a long time ago, uh, and I thought I was in the getting game. Get a degree, get a job, get a career, get a pay rise, get a car, get a house, get a promotion, get ahead, and get where, precisely. It took me until I was 40 to realise that the only thing that matters, and the only thing you'll be remembered for, is what you give, and not what you get. What you give as a friend, a parent, partner, colleague, volunteer, manager, boss, it will always trump what you get. My life partner, Ali, figured this out many years ago. I'm just a bit of a slow learner. By simple statistical definition, all of us gathered here today are amongst the most privileged people on this planet. As you forge your way forwards in life with this wonderful University of Cumbria degree under your arm, don't forget to pause look around and create interesting ways of supporting those who have not had your chances in life. Ultimately, it's the only thing that matters. Thank you.